Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is the second part of my um, closer decluttering video series. I'm really grateful you guys are here to make me company and I really hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I made myself a tea, so if you want, you can um, make yourself a tea or a coffee too. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, to subscribe and all those kind of stuff. And um, yeah, so let's start with this part of the closet which is left from the first video and then I can't wait to unbox and unpack all the boxes I moved here from my previous place because I'm currently living with like 10 items which is good but stressful as well because I mean it's not stressful it's good but I really miss like my some of my clothes and um yeah, so let's get started. Well, I know it's cute. Under a blazer. Blazer on the top. No. <clears throat> Haven't worn once, so vintage pile. These are all from my Y2K era. What do you guys think? Um, this one is like a satin shirt, which is cute, but I remember it had like some. I believe it has stains. Can be removed. So, yeah. I, I'll probably donate this one. This one's cute. I like the length, I like the feet. Kind of like everything about it. The color as well. Yes. You can wear it by itself. You can wear it again, now, nowadays during the fall. You can wear it with a shirt, with a t-shirt, under a blazer. It's cute. So this one says yes. Small for me, so I'm gonna put it on my infant. Same with this uh, blazer. It's like I bought this one like 10 years ago, maybe. It's like a linen blazer. I bought this one in Switzerland. It's kind of long. You can wear the dress as well. Then we have this white OK cardigan, white cardigan, which is nice because it has it's double zipped, so you can open it here. It's like a mohair. I really like the items that allow you to layer which is cute so i'm gonna keep it then we have a very nice coat i thrifted last year I like a ridiculous price something like seven pounds seven euros i love it more tailored blazer than the ones i usually wear it's very warm it's not something i would wear every day it's not really my style but it's i feel like it's one of those um, kind of items that you should keep uh, in your closet because it's like a more like a less casual, like more formal occasions. So we're gonna keep this oversized. It's a blazer, but it's also a jacket. Mini coat. If it was slightly longer, it would have been perfect, but wear it anyway. I'm gonna put all the jackets and all the things that I am keeping back into the closet. She's a cardigan, a stick cardigan. She's kind of cute because that's the white one I showed you before. Can be open. At the bottom, so I think I'm gonna keep this. Oh, that one is thrifted. This one is thrifted as well. It's like a small, too small for me actually. So I think I'm gonna sell it. Black zipped sweater, which is very cute. So I'm so sad. It's too small for me. Thrifted granddad sweater. I kind of love 
I love it. I love it, mamma mia. I love the neck, I love the tip, I love the length. I love I love that you can mix and match it with like other patterns and textures and create like a very fun outfit. Yeah. Imagine this with like a yellow or pink. It's cute. Then we have a series of ties that I love and that I should use more. So this will be a goal of this fall winter season. I love them. They're all from my granddad. I love this one. They're so cute. Oh my god, I completely forgot about this one. It's a navy thrifted blazer I love. It is like kind of pattern. Oh, I want to show you what I got from Uniqlo. This is the new leather crossbody bag, eco leather bag from Uniqlo. I love it. It's slightly bigger. It's not slightly, it's like twice bigger of the normal one. And they have it in like this color, which is like um, terracotta. And then they have it in black and white. I already have the normal one in those colors, so I opted for this one. And then the tie. It's very cute. Yeah, no. Set it on Vinted. A sparring uh, brown top, which I use a lot during winter. Maybe under a blazer. Oh, wait, like other sweaters on top and it keeps me very warm because I'm a person who suffers the cold a lot so it's perfect I think this one's from Tanzanis oh no maybe I can make it like cut a bit yes I love this this is like one of my favorite blazers it's a yes but We'll put it aside because I need to bring it to the laundry. So let's just hang it here. We're gonna think about it later. I love it. I love the color. I love the fact that you can wear it like that. You can also not like that, but like yes. Like these. Like these. I also I remember I used it a lot in London and I wore it like that and I love it yes this is a yes and it's open so you can wear it with like a sweater, a shirt, t-shirt whatever you want it's very cute it's thrifted as well Very cute long dress. It's very heavy, so with a blazer on top, maybe of the same color. Yes, with the high knee boots. With a pair of high knee boots. I saw Massimo Dutti high knee boots, leather boots. They are selling them in black and in the in brown as well, which I love. I really want to go trying them on. For now, it's a yes. So. This is the situation. This is what I am keeping, what I just showed you. And uh, these are all the items I am decluttering and I am trying to sell all my vintage. So what I'm doing right now, what I'm gonna do is put these into one of the boxes I am storing in this closet for the vintage selling. So this is what I'm doing right now. And then we will go through this bar. Now, actually, uh, here I put all the jackets I already showed you in the first part of the in the first episode. The only one I didn't show you is this one, which I'm gonna show you right now. But I already know I love it, so it's one of my favorite pieces. And it's actually a fast fashion purchase. But yeah, let's try it on. This one, guys, is like one of my favorite coats. Love the feet. I love everything about it. This is a fast fashion purchase. I actually bought it five years ago, so I, five years ago, I wasn't too mindful of what I was wearing and of my behavior towards the planet and sustainability. 
but what I want to tell you guys is that even if I buy something today because it happens from Zara uh, or um, any other store like fast fashion store of course I try to uh, limit those kind of purchases but it can happen because not everyone has not, and not always has the chance to buy like high quality and sustainable clothing so it can happen what matters is I'm not going to throw these away only because it's fast fashion it would be nonsense I know there are like more sustainable co but this is something I own and I'm not going to throw this away to buy a new sustainable item because it wouldn't be a sustainable choice what I'm trying to say is that try to take advantage of what you already have instead of buying new things because buying new is never a sustainable choice so even if you have a lot of fast fashion clothes don't throw them away only because they're fast fashion and buy new stuff because it's something i did in the past and that i regret doing we're all different we all have different backgrounds different economic situations different life situations so the most sustainable choice you can make is to take advantage of what you have try to be grateful for what you have love what you already have take advantage of that and not buying new stuff that's it i made you a pippone we say that in, uh, in italian so we're gonna keep this way would like to take it to the laundry so i'm gonna put it in a together with the blazer so those are all the items i chose to keep in the last in the first part of the video those are various things sheets bedding stuff gym clothes etc the only thing is this bag so we're gonna go through this bag right now and then the, the drawers as well uh, so that then we can put everything aside and go through the boxes and unpack one two three four five uh, boxes so yeah let's get started by the way i thought about this which i showed you in the first part of the video and i think i'm gonna sell it because i'm not My goal is to uh, have everything unpacked like I don't want to have stuff into like boxes for different seasons I would like to have like my most worn items here and then just have the other stuff in my closet also for the uncurrent season the barbour thing let's put it aside for the moment here we have a fleece jacket I bought last year and I used it a lot but then I'm gonna show you guys another one which is basically the same no it's it's very similar if you follow my my videos you saw that I bought something like this two months ago from Cos because it was uh, on sale very discounted so I bought that one which is higher quality yeah. A nicer fit so what i'm gonna do is of course trying to sell this one on vinted i love it this beautiful green which is gonna be a trend this fall winter so say yes this one's one of my favorite trousers from cos but like three years ago i'm going to wear it like high waisted but also a bit like Really wasted. It's very cute. Eco leather brown trouser. 
I like outfits me, but I feel like I want to start wearing more comfy clothes and I feel like this is too perfect for me so I'm gonna declutter this one black high neck color, basic we keep it same but in uh, this brown color in this different material it's a bit lighter but it's still warm this is from Arquette I bought it while I was in London gray one this one is like a shirt I bought from Cos from my celebration the green celebration actually it's cute I love the color I of course have to iron it but it's cute it's like high neck shirt it has like little buttons on the back and the sleeve is like puffy sleeve even if you can't see it right now these two same of the brown one i showed you of the zanis i use them a lot during winter they keep it warm cool okay so let's put these into the closet together with the, the items from, from last time we're gonna go through the drawers for example, here we have a very nice thrifted piece, the Sergio Tacchini. It is cute, but I feel like I won't wear it, so I'm going to sell this one. Then we have those thrifted tailored uh, trouser made in Italy. Cute, but needs some adjustments, so because it's a bit long it's a bit long so we're gonna make it cut off the shoulders top me 60 y2k top which is very cute because it has a lot of buttons and you can open it this one is very cute i'm gonna keep this one bed sheets underwear jean clothes this one is done here we have more sleepwear underwear bed sheets Sleepwear, sleepwear, sleepwear. More sleepwear, more underwear. we made it we went through every single piece i left here for moving now what we're gonna do is just to clean up the space put this one back uh, into the closet and uh, i think what i'm gonna do we need to open the boxes i think we're opening the boxes and then we have to unpack the luggage i already know that in here we have all items that i want to sell because while i was packing i already did like the cluttering Half of the big one is just filled up with like adding stuff, etc. <laughs> Pillowcase. Pillowcase. Mm. Swimsuit. How cute! This is a vintage Cinco corset. I thrifted. I love it. Thrifted. Love it. Layered. Oh my god. Cute little black tank top. Another one. Asymmetrical. Features pieces PJ's blue tank top. This one is a vintage shirt. I thrifted. Very oversized. I love it. Yeah. This one I'm gonna keep. All the bedding stuff in here, which is the bedding stuff drawer. More summery stuff, black blouse, cute, it's very Danish style. Let me put this one here. So, yeah, half of the big one's done. I think I'm gonna put all this stuff except for these two in this box because it's all like very summery, very summery stuff. are all the stuff I use to work out or to go running. I really believe there's gonna be a third episode of this series where we will organize everything. Today is not the day. Okay.
Okay, half of the big one is done. Basic white tee, basic white tank top, striped cos long sleeve tee. This is basically all like summer stuff, guys. So I think um, what I'm gonna do is just put everything uh, into the summer box. Okay, guys, so this is mostly summer stuff. So tank tops, uh, crop tees, around linen pants, linen shorts, linen everything. So what I'm doing is just putting all the stuff I know I'm no longer using uh, in the summer box uh, and keeping like some tank tops I know I can still use for fall and also in winter like for layering uh, this white one for example it has like an open back so it's too summery it will go in the summer box as well as these Levi's shorts see you next year these ones actually a tank top but it's like it has like a heavier material so we'll keep this for fall and winter as well this is like a very light mm, dress very summery so summer box same with this linen dress uh white leg light wash denim then we have this amazing Zara trouser I bought this summer but it's like it has a very big hole because the material is very cheap so I'll see if they can fix it very basic ripped tank t-shirt grey t-shirt it's really nice oversized black t-shirt yellow trousers that I can still use very summery brown tank top tank top yellow cotton trouser um, skirt i bought two weeks ago from Porta Pertese, this huge fully market i already talked about this was like one euro then we have this very summery stuff very summery tank tops mini dress mini denim dress Rosardi. we are keeping these for September. october as well maybe for a night out sweater i bought lately from cos which was on sale i'm gonna put all of these tank tops and t-shirts to drawer one bag's done one left that one left and then the boxes in the mm -hmm. closet let's go Okay, let's start with this cute thrift find. It's actually a set. I don't know if, if we are gonna find the trouser, but I bought it as a set. And it's very cute. I love it. If you follow my channel, you've already seen this one in a recent video. I love it. Very oversized white t-shirt, graphic t-shirt. It's really nice. Puffy sleeves thing. But I feel like it's cute for when you feel like a bit more fancy. So yeah, we're gonna keep this one. Seal white shirt, light yellow one with short sleeves. Very basic striped shirt that I'm using mostly at the sea because it's like a bit old. It's a linen white shirt, very transparent, very summery. Same with this white, very old one. I mean, mostly using it. At the sea. It's from Cos. I bought it on Vinted. Very summery color. Straw Florin oversized white shirt. I'm gonna keep this one. Pink one from Ralph Florin. Too summery. Sweatpants uh, from Cos. Too big. So I need to I need them to be tailored. These very basic flared black trouser. Very basic. We're gonna keep them. Created this in Camden Town, London. White V-neck sw uh, sweater, love it. Bought this in London as well. Cute little cardigan, thrifted from Porta Bertese, one euro. This is a crochet sweater, really cute sweater, like braided sweater. Very oversized. I love this color. This one is actually from I showed you guys in the second ever video of my channel yeah, on the how to pack for one year abroad. Make me emotional before leaving for London. So yeah, this that one. It's from Uji. The 
trouser off is that that I showed you before linen purple trouser cargo dining one which is very cute I wanna make it like clean so tailoring pile I will obviously uh, update you guys on the um, tailorings I don't know if it's gonna be here on YouTube so it will probably be on Instagram or TikTok so uh, make sure to follow me also on the other socials like wash denim jeans it's a bit too big for me i have large hips much larger than my waist so if a trouser hits me on my waist it's gonna be too tight for my uh, hips and legs so i tend to buy bigger sizes so that i can always make it smaller on the waist but yeah so we're gonna make this one tailored linen trouser to summary purple skirt I bought in London from um, Yoga Outfitters. Outfitters. It's really cute. Massimo Dutti layered jeans. They're very cute. Yes. Last but not least. No. No, it's not last. Uh, flare denim jeans. Most adorable item. My wardrobe. Imagine these fall vibes. Birkenstock buttons, socks, denim, legal bag. I can't wait. Can't believe we're almost done, guys. We can do it. A quick recap we went through all the closet in the big one at the moment the corner one at the moment we have all the um stuff i do clutter that i would like to sell on vintage as well as my summer clothing uh a bag and two big bags of clothing that i would like to that i have to make tailor this part of the closet we have clothes that i want to keep mostly like very wintery clothes jackets coats sweaters and a bit of night out fancy uh, clothing in the drawers we mostly have pjs underwear sleepwear the gym wear so we're going through the last few boxes my gucci mules i don't know if keeping them i mean i sometimes use them market sandals that I don't really use that much, so I'm thinking to sell them on Vinted. Uh, A6 Gel Nimbus 9 that I mostly use for running. As you can see, I usually run in the park. I'm actually thinking to make them clean and use them as normal shoes because I really like them. Cowboy boots thrifted that I unfortunately can't wear because they're too small, so I'm gonna sell them on my Vinted Tracking shoes, super dry something I like them but I have to clean them as well One bag is done Loafers from Massimo Dutti Love These gazelles I don't know if they're gazelle But yeah, we're keeping them They're just, they add that pop of color to a basic, very basic outfit My Converse Converse are just so uncomfortable I'm very confused about my dogs. I don't know if you want to keep them, if they reflect my style, if, if they still reflect my style or not. For the moment, I will keep them. I have this very nice thrifted Harry Janes. I thrifted, but I they really need like to. They really need some love. Yeah, as you can see, I use them a lot. My arm I bought this summer for um, wedding. Let's see, guys. Of course, there you can see my everyday shoes, my New Balance Five Thirties, my Salomon, my Birkenstock Boston's and Arizona, my boots, and my bullets. And then we're gonna add the loafers and uh, the gazelle. And then the other one, we're going to either store them in the closet or put them aside to clean them or make them fixed.
shoulder bag this is vintage I absolutely love it uh, even if it's a bit old I bought this for a very honest price in London in the I don't remember how that market is called it's very famous it's like the biggest vintage market in London it's in Shoreditch in Brick Lane I love it another favorite is my Witton vintage denim bag I absolutely love it my big big leather bag other stories bag i bought when i was in london very new purchase i made from vinted yeah crochet bag okay guys i can't believe there's only one box left and then we got everything unboxed I think I bought it in London, I don't remember. This one's cute. The one I was talking about before. Did from Goss. Guys, for only two euros. I love it. I've been wearing these for like two years now. It's very cute. And we're gonna use it thrifted laser we made it i can't believe we made it we went through every single item i own there's a beautiful sunset behind you everything is unboxed this closet the big one the corner one is pretty organized you know if you guys want to see the progress i really hope you enjoyed the video i really hope you had a good time with me you enjoyed your coffee you enjoyed your tea i'll see you in the next video if you have any recommendation or if you'd like to see any type of video please comment down below and um, i guess i'll see you next time bye mm -hmm.